Hello everybody, this is Mr. Cloud, and in this video I'm going to do a quick overview of Lesson 5A. 5A is how the political parties operate. It's the four functions of political parties. Also in this lesson we've started our deep exploration of the U.S. Constitution by looking at Article 1, Section 1. But let's start with the political parties. According to the SOLs, there are four functions that students need to know for political parties. Four functions of political parties. The first of the functions is one, they recruit and nominate candidates. Recruit and nominate candidates. We talked in class the difference between a primary election and a general election. In a primary, a political party chooses their nominee. And in a general election, the nominees of the parties have a contest to see who's going to get the actual uh, open position. Second function of political parties is that they educate the electorates about campaign issues. And we named several campaign issues that they might do this on, like taxes and education and military spending and border security and just lots of, lots of different things that people um, tend to vote about. The word electorate is tricky. Uh, electorate means all the voters. So you combine all the voters into one body. We call that body the electorate. Uh, next item is that they um, assist candidates getting elected. They try to get their candidates elected. Political parties are most successful when they get as many of their members into public office as possible. And the final function of a political party is they act uh, as watchdogs. They monitor the actions of office holders. And again, this is called being a watchdog. They make sure that the other party is doing the right thing. And when they're not, they let everybody in the world know about that. All right, those are the four functions of political parties. Students should be able to name those from memory and describe and talk about each. Keyword here is electorate. Now, also with this lesson, I've been asking students to know about the Constitution. Um, this is a great website. This is the website from the national government called uh, Archives, the National Archives, where you can visit yourself. The Constitution uh, has a nice transcript of the Constitution. We've discussed the preamble previously. I've been focusing students on Article 1, Section 1. So students should know that Article 1, Section 1 of the U.S. Constitution states that all the legislative powers are vested in a Congress. In other words, are given to a Congress. So legislative powers means all the powers to make laws are given to a Congress and that Congress shall consist of a Senate and a House of Representatives. If you ask your students, tell me about Article 1, Section 1 of the U.S. Constitution, they should be able to say that all the powers to make laws are given to a Congress and a Congress is made up of two houses, a Senate and a House of Representatives. All right. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.